Number 17. A velocity selector in a mass spectrometer uses a 0.1 Tesla magnetic field. Letter A. What electric field strength is needed to select a speed of 4 times 10 to the 6 meters per second? All right. So um, I think the best way to approach this is to you kind of have to go back and remember what are the units for electric field? All right. Um, if we remember the units for electric field is a newtons per coulomb. Okay. Um, that is, uh, or are, I guess a combination, right, of the units for electric field. Now, consider this formula for a second. The force acting on a moving charge through, an, uh, through a magnetic field will equal the charge of that moving particle multiplied by the velocity of that moving particle multiplied by the magnetic field strength of that moving, of the, um, well, magnetic field, uh, multiplied then by the sine of the angle uh, of the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector. Now, um, first of all, they don't, well, before I get into any angles, I want you to consider, um, do you have any in this formula, Newton units? Well, sure we do, right? Isn't force measured in Newtons? Do you have any Coulomb units in here? Sure you do. Isn't charge measured in Coulombs? So wait a minute. Andrew, are you telling me that if I just divide the Q, that that would be the electric field right here. Uh, yep, that's what I'm telling you. This is the electric field formula. Okay. Now they do not. T so basically, you can cr you can call this capital E is equal to VB sine theta if you wanted. There's your there's a new formula. Now it doesn't say anything about the angle, so I guess we'll assume it's 90 degrees, right? So if that's 90 degrees, sine of 90 is just one, so therefore that just cancels, right? Whoa! Wait a minute. That's all it is? Yeah, that's all it is. So the electric field here is going to be equal to the velocity that they gave you, 4 times 10 to the 6th, multiplied by the magnetic field, which is in Tesla. Those are the standard units. So the uh, electric field here is going to be 4 times 10 to the 5th. Now, I guess 4.00, right, sig figs, but you know how I feel about that. Um, newtons per coulomb, and that's it. That's all it is, okay? It's just, that's newtons per coulomb. So that's the magnetic field. Strength. You see, sometimes it's good to understand uh, the units behind these variables. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Letter B. What is the voltage between the plates if they are separated by now one centimeter? So this formula you might now remember back to um, this formula might remember back to I don't remember eighteen night chapter eighteen maybe chapter nineteen who knows chapter twenty I don't even remember. Uh, but in any case, uh, the voltage here is going to be equal to the electric field multiplied by the distance between the two plates, okay? That you probably remember from uh, from the past, okay? Voltage is a little bit of a harder unit to remember because there's a lot of uh, standard units tied up in it, just like a Newton. A Newton, you know, technically is a, a kilogram meter per second squared, um, but, you know, we don't really leave it as a Newton. So same thing here with the, um, with the volt, right? A... a the voltage is measured in volts, but you should also know that voltage has the units of Newton per Coulomb meter, or in other words, Newton meter per Coulomb. So that's how you would arrive at this formula if you memorize that, right? So here the uh, electric field is gonna be four times 10 to the fifth, as we just found, times the distance between them. Oh, they gave it to you in centimeters. You know we need that in meters, so multiply that by 10 to the minus two <clears throat> and go about your business. So I don't, eh, we don't really need a calculator for this. So this is going to be 4.00 times 10 to the third, okay? Volts or newton meter per coulomb, doesn't matter. Anyway, that's that. So guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe if you can. And I look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.